here, scholar, here, go. Back of the week, now, phone, shell, come, no, I go, you're not, and this is so poor, check you, yeah, go. August 1993, the Venture Star spacecraft lifts off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Hey everyone, it's Astronaut98, and once again, we're doing a For All Mankind Kerbal Space Program episode. What you just saw was the launch of my replica of the Venture Star spacecraft, or X-33, as it was known. Now, this would have used linear aerospike engines. Sadly, Kerbal does not have these, so I have a mixture of bell nozzles and regular arrow spikes. I did the best I could. Now, this thing is actually a functional SSTO, which is great. The bad news, it cannot go all the way to the MUN, so you will have to refuel, as I will show in this video. Now, this vehicle was designed to carry both payload and crew, though not simultaneously. It was actually intended to have a large cargo bay with which to carry either payload, as shown here, or a crew module, as shown in some other pictures that I forgot to get from Wikipedia. Now, this vehicle had a bit of a weird design history, but it eventually settled on this triangular shape with a cargo bay that could carry a crew module like this, or a cargo module. Now, once you've filled up this thing a decent chunk of the way, you're definitely going to want to have at least 2,000 meters per second of Delta V if you're going all the way to the MUN. If you fill this thing all the way up, I'm pretty sure you can get this thing probably out to Duna. I wouldn't go for Jewel, but depending on if you can aero break at Jewel, you never know. So, having fully fueled up, we light those engines and head straight for the MUN. Now, what we're doing with this mission is we're doing a routine crew swap but with a new vehicle. Having hit that like, subscribe, and ring that bell button to get notifications you want to see more of this stuff, we retro burn into lunar orbit. Now, upon retro burning into lunar orbit, we alert the James Down crew and say, hey, send us some astronauts to swap out. I currently had two astronauts that had been on station for about six months. The rest of the crew had only been there for like three. So I sent up those two and I'm sending down four new astronauts to occupy Jamestown. Now you can dock the lander to the Venture Star. It's hilarious how tiny this lander looks compared to the Venture Star, but it's a space shuttle. It's massive. Now, upon landing, you will notice my brand new fuel refinery. I can show you a video on that if you want. Leave that in the comments below, or I can do my uh, 1990s Jamestown idea. So, upon transferring the crew, we begin heading home. Now, this vehicle has great flight characteristics, but only when the fuel tanks are empty. Now, I know that makes no sense, but it's true. And it can actually do a full belly flop maneuver that is perfectly stable in the Kerbin's atmosphere, resulting in a two-pass arrow brake cycle, allowing you to slow down enough for actual re-entry. So for this flight, you're going to want to aim at like a 25 degree nose down angle, basically. So that way you keep your velocity over 100 meters per second when you're coming in for a touchdown on the, on the gear. So, very careful, very careful, perfect touchdown. Upon Tokyo drifting your way to an, a beautiful spot, it'll then be recovered and used for another mission. Liftoff, we have liftoff. Venture Star carrying more crew for Jamestown base. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. I release a new video every other week for your viewing pleasure. I am the astronaut. Let's fly.